It's mid-December and the rainy season has just begun. Farmers are out in their fields planting crops that will feed them for the entire year. I'm walking towards a field a couple miles from the village, one that's no longer in use. Severe erosion has deformed the land, making it difficult to plow, and the soil has eroded into an infertile field of sand. After a night of heavy rain, I'm here to inspect how the earthworks have held up. I've been working on this for three days now, and so far all I've dug is half moon basins. And as you can see, they're catching the water perfectly. And here we're going downhill. And you can see they're on contour. So they cup perfectly the gradient. So as the water flows down, they cup the water and keep it in place. So the water does not all clump up and become one powerful force, destroying everything in its path. So this is the main gully that cuts through the field. And you can see this mound is still intact with this one and all the others. The water was too powerful and it cut it right there. So the plan is along these ridges to plant either sorghum or millet, whichever seeds I have access to. And then in the center, so on the on the mound, it's gonna be grass in the center, it's gonna be a tree. So every one of these basins is gonna have a tree. Planting grasses along the ridges will strengthen them as the roots interweave to create a mesh of organic matter within the ridge. Sorghum and millet are both drought resistant and will contribute to the development of these ridges, enhancing their resilience. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to source sorghum or millet seeds. Instead, I had to make do with what I had, pigeon pea and gluricidia seeds as well as local grass which I could transplant into the ridges and check dams. Erosion in this field began with poor practices in the neighboring field. The farmers there didn't plow on contour, meaning their plow lines channeled water downhill, facilitating erosion. Instead of water being absorbed into the soil, it rushed downhill, gaining speed and force. This unchecked water didn't just erode the soil, it washed away crops as well. The corn crops in this field, the farmer's primary source of food for the year, were destroyed. All of this loss was due to the poor land management above that passed the problem downhill. Eventually, the continuous erosion strips the field of fertile topsoil and carves deep gullies which makes it impossible to plow. In order to create an initial barrier to halt the rush of water from upstream, deep holes are dug at the start of the field, especially where water flows in from the neighboring land. These deep holes slow down and capture water before it causes further damage. Basins are dug throughout the field to collect more water as it moves, creating areas that retain moisture and help plants grow while also preventing further erosion. Pigeon peas were planted because they are drought tolerant, giving them a better chance of survival compared to the other shrubs or trees. As a leguminous plant, they also improve soil quality by fixing nitrogen. Gluricidia was also planted for its fast growth and abundant leaf production, which will quickly build up layers of nutrient-rich organic matter, further developing the soil. Unfortunately, just one week after the Gluricidia began to sprout, 
A severe drought began in Zambia, and thus the Glaricidia did not make it. Fortunately, the pigeon pea continued to grow and reached about two meters in height. Progress is slow, especially when droughts hit. But the Half Moon Basins proved to be an effective strategy for healing the land. These basins captured significant amounts of water, allowing it to seep into the soil rather than just flowing downhill and causing erosion. In just one year, even with the drought, the basins made a huge impact, improving soil fertility and helping the field recover. It shows that with patience and the right techniques, we can make a real difference. Thanks for watching, and if this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on sustainable projects.